Se me va la noche sin besarte los ojos Se me va tu ser sin ninguna causa Se me va con el viento Y me sube la sangre hasta los tuétanos Por eso pido amarte con piedad infinita Para que el azúcar llegue a mi boca Se me va la noche Se me va todo el ser Se me va con el viento Por eso pido amarte Para que el azúcar llegue a mi boca se me va la noche, se me va tu ser, se va con el viento, se me va la noche, se va la noche, y se va. For us here at the Fine Arts Center, we've worked with numerous artists over the years since we've been open, and one of the people who's made the largest impact on us as a staff and our community is Eric Ricardo. He's really come um, into his own, and his art speaks incredibly to the emotion and the complexity of his incredible talent. And for us, it's just been a pleasure not only to experience his art, but to get to know him as a person. It's rare that we have the opportunity to spend this amount of time with someone, um, and in doing that, we have come to know him and his art. We've grown to love his family as well, and he's just one of those people who touches you, not just with his person, but with his art form and his talent. And we're just so thrilled to have been involved with his exhibit here and to watch him, and I know he'll go big places, and we're, we're very excited to see where that's gonna take him in the future. We work with many artists here, and as part of the residency, our artists have an opportunity to work with either our students or the community. And we usually give them an opportunity to put into their own ideas how that will go. And what we found with Eric, which was a real exception, is that he went way beyond the expectations that we have for our artists. He spent not only the amount of time that we asked them to spend, but he went above and beyond in doing that at our schools, at our high schools, with our AP art students, and dedicated one of our schools an entire day to doing a large, large piece um, with the experience of not just art students, but other students coming through and seeing his artwork and getting an opportunity to put their own artwork in. And it was really an evolving experience throughout that day. Our art teachers said it was one of the best experiences they had ever had with an artist that we've worked with, and it just touched many, many people. And a lot of students uh, came back afterwards and said it was one of the best experiences they had ever had as well. So he, not only is his art amazing and incredible, but he as a person has the ability to touch many, many lives in the, the process and in the way that he conducts himself professionally and just in the human humanity aspect of what he does. So we're really, really excited that we had the opportunity to have him here and our students have benefited immensely as well. Another aspect that I think for us has been incredible is seeing someone's art that you know the talent is off the charts. We are lucky to work with emerging and established artists here from the Grand Rapids and West Michigan area, but when you see Eric's art, you know that he's boundless. I mean, this his talent is going to take him way beyond the local confines of, of our our area and I think for us that's exciting we know we're gonna miss him and not be able to see him as often as we would all like but his ability to to really capture a lot of different things within his culture also the the color that he uses the amazing uh, design and stylizing that he has it's just not like anything else we've seen and we've had a lot of wonderful artists come through our doors we're just so pleased to have worked with many many people but when you look over all the years of the artists that we've worked with, the one that really stands out for most of us here, not only for his humanity and his love of people and culture, is Eric for his amazing talent and for what he's been able to do to contribute not only to the local art scene, but to the community at large. So we're really thrilled that, that he's made this impact on us.